what we call these cigarettes can be any number of different things. It can be cigar like products. They look somewhat like conventional cigarettes. It can be these big tank systems. They can look like thumb drives, uh, like the product called Juul, which has become so well known. According to pretty much all of the major health authorities today, the consensus is that e-cigarettes in general are substantially less harmful when compared on a one-to-one -one basis toward any combustible conventional tobacco product that one smokes because they don't produce the 7,000 chemicals, including 70 known human carcinogens or cancer-causing substances that are produced when a product is burned and smoked. The evidence today shows that they're probably about as effective as nicotine replacement products like gum or patches that are approved by the FDA without counseling. They can serve as an off-ramp for adults who are trying to quit their combustible tobacco use. On the other hand, the concern is that they appear to be serving very much as an on-ramp for too many children and young people to start using nicotine and become addicted to nicotine. Marketing is pretty much a Wild West situation. The FDA has got to step in and really regularize this process so that people will be better informed and these products will be better controlled so people know what they're using and what the effects of these products will be. What we're trying to convey is that if you're a 45-year-old smoker who has smoked cigarettes for maybe 30 years and you're trying to quit but you're having an extraordinarily difficult time is to transition completely to e-cigarettes. E-cigarettes may be a gateway to using combustible tobacco products. The use of e-cigarettes last year increased about 77% among kids. So the FDA has sent out a recent warning to the major e-cigarette manufacturers in this country who constitute about 97% of the market and told them that they need to produce a plan rapidly within 60 days to explain very specifically how they're going to reduce the appeal to kids and change the marketing and maybe even the products themselves to ensure that fewer kids take up these products and become addicted.